Hey there. All right, today for our math, we're going to be using an online tens frame and some red and yellow counters to think about how a tens frame can help us add. Follow me. All right, let's think about this. We're going to use some stamps to put, put some counters on the tens frame. Then we're going to write an addition equation to match the red and yellow counters. Let's think about this. I'm going to pull up some red counters. One, two, three, four, five. I have five red counters. Let's put two yellow counters. One, two. I have two yellow counters. How many counters do I have in all? That's right, I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many red counters? I have five red counters. Look, one, two, three, four, five. How many yellow counters? I have two yellow counters. One, two. When I add them together, see that plus addition sign? I get how many counters in all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven counters in all. This equal sign is a balancing sign. It tells me that this and this are the same. Ready to think about something a little bit harder? All right. You can use a 10 frame to show an addition fact with five. How would you show five plus three equals? Hmm, how would we show five plus three? Let's draw it. We could do five red counters. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Now what should I draw? Same as Minion, you should draw. Let's think, am I adding more? Should I draw more counters or am I subtracting? Should I cross some counters out? That's right, I am adding. How many counters should I add? Did you say three? That's right. This plus three means that I should add three counters. One, two, three. I have five red counters and I have three yellow counters. How many counters do I have in all? Count them with me. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight in all. Five plus three equals eight. Having five and three together is really the same as having eight. We can see that down here. Start with five. How can you show five in the 10 frame? Tell the computer, how can we show five in the tens frame? Put five counters in the top row, then add three more. <gasps> That's what we did. Look at the 10 frame now. How many counters are in the top row? Select your answer. What? 
number should I choose? How many are in the top row? Pictures are in the top row. Select your answer. Are there five in the top row? Three in the top row? Or eight in the top row? There are five in the top row. There are five counters in the top row. How many counters are in the bottom row? All right, you tell me. How many counters are in the bottom row? That's this row right here on bottom. That's right, there's three. There are three counters in the bottom row. How many counters are there in all? How many in all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight counters in the 10 frame. So five and three more are eight. How does the 10 frame help you see the addition fact five plus three equals eight? How did the tens frame help you? Did you use the rows to think about the groups? We're adding the first group of five to the second row, the second group of three. Or maybe you used our tens frame strategy of what's missing. You know we have two boxes missing. So we have a full tens frame takeaway. Two missing boxes. Takeaway one is nine. Takeaway two is eight. We have eight in all. We could use the tens frame to figure that out too. It breaks the sum up to show five and three more. How does making five help you use a 10 frame? Think about that. How does making five help you use a 10 frame? You can say, making five helps me because, yeah, five in a 10 frame is easy to see. It's one full row. When we see it, sometimes we don't even need to count it. We can supertize it. We can say, oh, a full row in a tens frame? I don't even need to count that. Easy schmeasy, I know that's five. Making five in the 10 frame makes it easier to see how many more are needed to make 10. It is easier to look for empty frames in one row than in two rows. The 10 frame shows another addition fact. You have eight. Make 10. Two. Can you help me make 10? I have eight. How many more do I need to get to 10? Eight. Plus what equals 10? How many boxes are empty? Two boxes are empty. One, two. If I fill up all the boxes, then I know it's 10 because a full tens frame means 10. So eight plus one more is nine. Eight plus two more is 10. Eight plus two equals 10. Boxes are empty. Add two. When you add two, you make 10. How many dots are there? Yes, there's 10. Do we need to count them? No, we can supertize. We know that a full tens frame 
is 10. We don't even need to count it. How does the 10 frame help you see the 10 fact? It breaks the number up to show how many more make 10. 8 plus 2 more is 10. How does the 10 frame show 8 plus 2 equals 10? There are 8 red counters and 2 empty spaces, which is 10 altogether. So 8 plus 2 equals 10. Now you have learned how to show addition facts on a 10 frame. Great work today, friends. Today for your homework, you'll need some counting cubes or marbles and your tens frame. You'll also need your whiteboard and whiteboard marker so you can write number sentences. Psst, if you can't find your tens frame, that's okay. It might be in your yellow folder. If it's not, just draw one on your whiteboard with 10 boxes. Math homework, Tarea de Matematicas. Use cubes or marbles and your tens frame to model the following addition problems. Try the subitize. For example, if you have one whole row full, you can know that it is five without having to count. Or if you have the whole frame full, you can know that it is 10 without having to count. Maybe you even realize that if you have the whole frame full, except for one box, that it must be one less than 10, which is nine. Pause on this screen while you model it with cubes or marbles in your tens frame. How many in all? Can you subitize at all? Pause on this screen while you model it with cubes or marbles in your tens frame. How many in all? Can you subitize at all? Pause on this screen while you model it with cubes or marbles in your tens frame. How many in all? Can you subitize at all? Let's do it the other way around. Write an addition number sentence to match this picture. How many red dots? How many yellow stars? How many in all? Do you need to count everything? Is there anything you can just subitize? Hint! Look at the rows. Do you have a full row? Hint! Try and use what's missing. Do you have a full tense frame with something missing? 